so excited for the next few days. It is absolutely gorgeous out. It is so beautiful. You can tell by our room right now. It is so bright but crisp. I've had a few things on a list. Basically anytime I'm thinking of something like oh I'd really like to do that. I put it down on my phone and then I save it for a day when I don't have too much going on. I have some crafts with Connor I've been wanting to do. I really want to take a pumpkin photo of him. I'm sure you've seen this on Pinterest before but essentially you carve out space for your baby and you put them in the pumpkin. It's adorable. I don't know if this will actually work out but I think it'd be so cute for his scrapbook. I got one from Trader Joe's but I'm thinking it's going to be too small so we might have to find a bigger pumpkin somewhere else. I'd love to do some thrifting and antique shopping. His birthday is actually coming up in a couple of months. I think a month and a half at this point. So I'm trying to find some things for his birthday party which is going to be very low-key but this morning we actually have cleaners coming. I rarely do this. This is probably my second or third time ever doing this but it's one of my favorite kind of treats to myself is getting like a deep, deep clean of our house. They do such a great job, the company that we sometimes use. And our place is a little grimy. And especially now that Connor is just moving around so much, I've just noticed a lot of buildup. And so they're gonna come this morning. I'm trying to think of something we could do to get out of the house. And my friend Rose, she just started working at Anthropology, So we're gonna visit her, go see the mall, maybe browse around there, grab some lunch. And then hopefully by then they'll be finished and he'll be ready to nap by then. I need to do a couple of work things and then pack up his stuff. But before then I have to show you my outfit because very rarely these days do I put on an outfit and just feel so confident and comfy in. So I have to show you. This is the dress. It's from Spell. I think it's so fun for fall, but it's so lightweight. And the tie around the waist, so cute. I also appreciated that this came with this. My boots are from Cezanne. I've been looking for the perfect outfit to wear these with. I got this dress in the mail and thought I have to wear these. They are so cute. I think they also come in a brown color, but they're just this really beautiful suede. And I cannot wait to get so much use out of these during the fall time. Just got here to the mall, brought our big stroller, so hopefully we can just pack everything and then camp out here for the next bit while they're cleaning the house, but I still can't get over how gorgeous it is outside. Let's go see Rose, grab some lunch. Four feet on the strikes in the Alabama highway Out there in the open, just a wishing and a hoping I could smell the pines when I let you It was so nice to get to see Rose. I had never been to that anthropology before, but it was huge and they had so much good stuff. Even just going in window shopping, it was really fun to look around and see her, hang out at the mall. We're back home and oh my goodness, the place looks so good. It is so, so clean. It's always the best feeling coming back to just such a clean and organized home. Yo. I'm gonna set up the stuff for doing the craft with Connor. Essentially, it's just making a turkey out of his handprints and his footprints. It's super cute. I remember doing this, I think, for myself in elementary school or something. Something I'm gonna do differently though this time, I'm gonna try to get it in his high chair so I can actually get his feet better that way and then just let it dry. I'll probably finish it off tomorrow, but I feel like I'll have a better shot doing it that way if he's snacking on something and then just a couple more work things I need to do and then we'll probably spend a lot of time outside the rest of the evening because again it just feels so nice out today. For paint I ordered this paint that's supposed to be safe for kids. I in the past have just used like washable finger paint and then for paper I'm probably just going to use this cardstock. I actually ordered this for something else and didn't end up using it so it's not quite white but i think it'll still pick up especially if we're using the browns and i'm debating if i either want to cut the little feathers of the turkey out of construction paper or i'll use leaves that i have from another craft i was trying to do that was a fail if you know you know but i'm gonna set this stuff out so then when he wakes up and he's in a really good mood i can try to get those handprints and footprints i have always had this little lamp how adorable is this and i just noticed that our lamp that i usually use on the stove just went out and so I think it's so cute when people have a little lamp in their kitchen. I'm trying to figure out a way that I can put it here 
and then hide the cord so you can't see it because the cord is i feel like abnormally long because look how much that brightens up the space i just love the look of a little lamp in the kitchen it's adorable but then it just kind of looks clunky right there I ended up putting it on our wicker shelf because it was nice to just be able to sneak the cord back and i think it looks so cute i'm glad i found a little home for this how cute is this little nook now so much easier we have a couple of little footprints they're not perfect but again that's why they are homemade crafts they're not supposed to be perfect we have a couple more over here so we have some options that i think are gonna be super cute i think i'm gonna try his hands oh my goodness we are all done you want more but in my experience hands are so much harder than feet <laughs> so i normally do try to do footprint crafts when i can but this turned out pretty good. I'm about to head to bed. I just had a lot of work I had to catch up on tonight, but I wanted to share something super special with you guys. This is from my friend Allison. You may know her by her painted sourdough loaves. She makes the most beautiful art. She just restocked on these Bibles. These are hand-painted Bibles. They are incredible. She was so sweet and sent me one. I also have another one that I think I'm gonna be doing a giveaway in October on one of my YouTube videos, but it is gorgeous. It's also the King James Version, which is what I've been reading lately. So I thought it was so just special that it happened to be that translation too. But I just can't get over how beautiful this Bible is. It's also a note-taking Bible, so it has a lot of space in the margins. It's just incredible. I'm going to read this before I head to bed tonight, but I just had to share. I was so giddy when this came in the mail. I shared it with Aiden because I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it is just truly a work of art. It is so, so stunning. I've never had a Bible like this. I love having the same Bible throughout all of my life, but I also think it's sweet having different Bibles for different seasons of life, especially now as a mom. I think it'll be cool having this to just be able to take notes and look back on it. Cause that's the thing with my other Bible that I have. The margins just get so full, which is nice to look back on and see what I was thinking during those days, but it's really sweet having a fresh Bible. And I will catch you guys in the morning. to finish our craft this morning this afternoon we're going to go see some family at a park connor's going to hang out with his cousins and just spend some time there i think we're going to do a little picnic situation again it's so nice out so trying to take advantage of the weather but for now let's finish our craft the vision here is i want to turn one of the footprints into a turkey and then i just want to cut out and make my own turkey and then i printed out some photos of him and i'm just gonna put his face on it i'll put a pinterest photo of that one that i saw i think both of these will turn out super cute okay how cute is <laughs> this little turkey i just put his name and then the date on the back but how sweet i think i want to make a couple and i might actually put a couple in a frame just to have up for the wall but so sweet it turned out adorable Just packed up the car. We are headed to go meet up with the family and have a good time. Little guy is in a really good mood, so it should be fun. I have this
this little bulletin board in his room and this was one of the crafts we did for Valentine's Day. That was when he was, I think, three months old. And it's just so crazy to look at the difference now <laughs> how big his feet are. I also have this cute little Easter one we did. So fun doing these crafts for all the seasons and holidays. <laughs> about six o'clock right now. I have always been a morning person, but especially during this season of life, I have just treasured my morning so much. I love being up before everyone's up, especially when Connor's up and we're running errands in the morning and it's 7 a.m. and the stores are quiet, the streets are quiet. There's something so peaceful about just being up before everyone else is up. Just the way I try to romanticize it when <laughs> otherwise I would be sleeping in. But it's Saturday. I am really excited. I'm spending some time with my sister Jamie. We're going to have a little fall shopping date. She's been wanting to grab a couple things. So we're going to go to the mall. Even if I don't pick up anything, I still think there's something fun about going to the mall during fall with friend, family, browsing around, getting inspired. And I think we'll do the farmer's market tomorrow and try to find that big pumpkin for our photo we're switching cash over to the farmer's dog right now he's in the phase of just mixing it in with this food but i've never seen him eat his food so fast he loves this dog food let me know if your dog is a grazer or if they eat their food all at once when he was a puppy he'd eat it all at once but as he's gotten older he's much more of a grazer fit my little tank is from spell this purse is from leatherology i hardly ever use a purse because i always have just my diaper bag of sorts but i'm going solo today and then my skirt is from free people i love this skirt i don't know if you can tell but i'll try to pan you down a little bit sorry you're on a pillow right now it has a bubble hemline i just think it's so much fun and i'll probably just throw on some sandals because it's gonna warm up but i'm gonna meet jamie there at the mall so i'm about to head out here soon Summer's ended, the leaves are turning brown. Red and yellow, soon they'll be falling down. Back home, it was so much fun spending some time with Jamie. I did come home with a few things. These are things that I have had on my list. Now when I'm looking for clothes, I'll just make a list of things that I would like to have in my wardrobe. And anytime I see it, it feels nice knowing it's something on my list. I am really into sweater vests right now. And Zara had some really cute ones, especially red sweater vests. I've seen these everywhere and they had just this gorgeous knit sweater vest that I think is so cute. And it's not scratchy either. It's really soft. I also just like red. I don't really wear it that often, but I like the color. I think it's really pretty, which I love for this season of the year in Texas because it's still pretty warm, but you can wear it and it feels kind of fall, but you're not sweating a ton. I also got this one, this just super chunky knit sweater vest. So cute. I think that this one layered with a white long sleeve top underneath, some dark wash jeans, even some wide leg jeans with some boots would be so cute. And it just looked super, super cozy. I haven't really bought anything from Zara in a while. And then this is just a little dress. I've been wanting some things that are more this length. I have either just maxi dresses or mini kind of more just short dresses. Short dresses just don't really work as well for me anymore. It has to be a little bit longer. So when I'm bending down with Connor and everything, I just don't feel comfortable. So I found this one exactly such a great length for me. Brown will be nice. And I love these dresses to wear with knee high boots. The outfit that I wore when I was visiting Rose at her work made me feel more inspired to just kind of put together some more outfits, not even necessarily to buy new things. Someone is fascinated with paper bag right now. It feels good to kind of dress up again. So it was nice to find these pieces, things that I've kind of been looking for. Gonna do a little bit of tidying and organizing. Our closet is a disaster right now because anytime I'm struggling to put together an outfit, it's just like chaos in the room and I end up just throwing all my clothes in there. So I wanna do some laundry and just organize down there because it's kind of chaos city there. I'm 
I'm feeling a little crusty, so we're about to have an everything shower. I'm gonna wash my hair, shave, and do some self-tanner. I probably do this, honestly, probably once every couple of weeks. I don't know, for me, self-care is not really in terms of like getting my nails done, getting my hair done those kinds of things anymore, but I am kind of wanting to revamp that area of my life and just take care of my body a little bit better. I don't know, sometimes I think I kind of neglect that area. I try to be as minimal as possible when it comes to stuff I use in the shower, my skincare, even my makeup. I don't know, everything's just minimal. My skin is just dry. I'm just feeling kind of crusty for lack of a better word. I don't know, like I just need to take better care of myself. So I thought I could share some of my favorite products. I use Kristen S shampoo. I have used this for years and years and years. I think it's pretty good. I will say, I do think my hair has been getting kind of greasy lately. I typically could go a couple days without washing, but this is my hair right after washing it. I always like it the best when it's like this versus tomorrow. I won't like it, but I don't really want to wash my hair every day. Let me know if you have a good shampoo and conditioner you recommend. I also am thinking about going to one of those head spas. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that, but essentially they go through your scalp and kind of clean your scalp, wash your hair. It looks like such a relaxing treatment to do, but also it seems like it'd be helpful. But is that a scam? I don't know. I just kind of want to take care of my scalp better too. So let me know if you have a favorite shampoo and conditioner. Hair products, again, I'm minimal, but what are your essentials? When it comes to my face, I love Primally Pure. It's my favorite skincare brand. It's very clean, but they have just worked really great for me when I was pregnant too to now. And so I love their cleansing oil. I typically just use this to take off my makeup too. I really like it. And then if I have more eye makeup on, I will typically use the Elemis cleansing balm too. I also really like this, but I probably won't use it today because I actually, I do have eyeliner on. Usually when I have eyeliner on, I'll use this. And then we just have some Kiehl's body wash that Aiden and I both use. That's what I use when it comes to my body. But I don't know. I kind of want to use a scrub or something too. That's everything for the shower. I'll share my self-tanning products here in a second. I just self-tanned. You can't really, really tell because I haven't set in yet. I have used this self-tanner for years as well. This is from Loving Tan. It's my favorite. I have the two-hour express, but I usually just use the normal one in the shade dark. I haven't found one that I liked as much as this. When it comes to my face, I don't think I'll do this tonight because sometimes I do it a little bit too frequently and my skin gets kind of cakey. This is from Salty Face. I love this product. It's also lasted a very long time. Essentially, you just spray your face and then kind of buff it in with a brush and it looks really natural. And sometimes I don't necessarily wear makeup every single day now too, so it's nice kind of having a little bit of a base with this. They also have a full body self tanner this is just their tanning foam i don't know if it's because this one is light to medium which i do have more fair skin but I find that this just doesn't last as long as i'd like it doesn't get as bronze as i would like to so i kind of have this as a backup it is nice because it's clear and it doesn't have a scent really it has a little bit of a scent but it doesn't bother me at all the loving tan definitely has more of a scent but i believe that brand is a little bit more clean non-toxic and it's a nice backup. I do think it's a little bit more pricey though. For skincare, I love the ultra facial cream from Kiehl's. Aiden and I both use this. We have a giant tub of this. This is like a hundred dollars, but it'll last us a little bit. I have a few different serums I like, but I would say my favorites are again, just from Primally Pure. This is their soothing one, but I also love their plumping serum. I have one from Merit that I really like. And then I do really enjoy this Summer Fridays, the jet lag mask. I actually think I'm gonna use this tonight because my skin's just feeling dry. I like this one because you don't actually have to rinse it off or anything. You can kind of just buff it in. But yeah, when it comes to skincare, I will say I really am a firm believer that products aren't everything, especially for me. I've talked about this before, but my skin, I'll try to find photos kind of off the charts while I was pregnant. I mean, all through high school, I've had a couple of stints of clearer skin, but I have just always dealt with acne. And for some reason, since having my son, I think it has to do with my cycles. I now have a more regular cycle. It's not 60 days which it was before which i'm so thankful for because i do think once we do want to have another baby i imagine that'll be kind of helpful for that process but my skin cleared up a lot from that i have had some breakouts come out since then so i've heard some people say theirs was clear for like a year and then it broke out again so we'll see if that's me but it's been nice having a break because man i cannot tell you how much having acne affects your self-confidence from someone who's had it for so long i've never appreciated having like clear skin this to me is so so clear i always want to say that when i'm sharing skincare products i think a lot of times i would see people promote skincare products who just had really clear skin and then i would think oh if i buy this i will have clear skin too and i think so much of it has to do with 
nutrition, your cycle, different things going on in your body more than skincare, but I think skincare does help. Gonna go chill on the couch. I will catch up with you guys in the morning. Good morning. I am making some cottage cheese pancakes this morning. I've actually never made these before, but I've heard that they're really good. They look very just like fluffy and I don't know, we'll see. Okay, update on the pancakes. I don't know if I didn't follow the recipe right. I think I followed it right, but they are cheesy. They almost feel like a quesadilla. I was breaking it apart to feed to Connor and the cheese was like stringing out. So I am unsure if I did this wrong, but I get how the texture makes them really fluffy. I think I would just use less cottage cheese than the recipe I followed. It was a cup, so it was a lot, but I can see why this would be better if you didn't. Also, I usually put almond butter on his pancakes and for some reason it didn't spread, but yeah, a little too cheesy for me. I think I need to try a new recipe. I will say this guy was into the pancakes. He just downed those. I'm gonna do a little bit of meal prep before I get ready for church. I love prepping egg bites. These I eat myself, but Connor also eats, and it's one of those things that's so great to have in the freezer, and I find it stays really well. It's easy to heat up. I will say you have to have quite a few eggs, and for some reason I keep buying eggs thinking that we're about to run out. I have a ton of eggs, so I figured it's the perfect time to whip some of these up. And I'm thinking after we go to church, we might stop by the farmer's market if we have time grab a bigger pumpkin and I also just love looking around the farmer's market. The Dallas one's pretty crowded usually. It's really big but it's really fun in the fall time. They have such a pretty pumpkin display and even if we just stop by if we can find parking there's also a produce there's also a produce stand I really really like. They have a bunch of just fun different produce items and I think it'd be nice to spend some time outside there too. <laughs> I would add in peppers if I had them, but I don't. So we're just gonna do some spinach. There's coffee in there. Some egg bites. How are you? Good. So I think the these are really good with cheddar cheese, but again, I do not have any, so I'm just gonna do some mozzarella on top. That's why I love these though, because you can really just add anything that you have in your fridge that you're trying to not waste. This is the vest that I got yesterday. I love the color. I think it's so much fun. And then my jeans are Cezanne. These are just straight leg jeans. Oh, it's safe, it's safe. was good the farmers market was fun i will say i love the dallas farmers market i love the idea of it but every time we go there i always get so overstimulated it is just so crowded but it's so much fun and i love the idea of it i just the crowds there are always really crazy i will say across the street there's rubles and that has a really pretty pumpkin display and they're open during the week if you're looking for cute pumpkin photos it's so great it has a nice skyline view and it's really really pretty if you're looking for something low-key and want to get some cute pumpkin photos we did find the perfect pumpkin for mr connor's little pumpkin shoe that we're gonna do aiden's carving it right now I'm not sure if I'll do it tonight because I can't tell if he's quite in the mood for that. I'm not going to push him to sit in a pumpkin unless he seems really good to go for it. I'm definitely thinking of everyone in Florida, North Carolina, Tennessee. I just can't believe all the footage that's coming out from the hurricane and its impact. And it is just so, so devastating and sad. I'm trying to find some ways to help. I'll share if I find anything that I think is reputable and good to share. Feel free to comment too if you have anything that you know, but really, really heartbreaking. Just wanted to share that I'm thinking of everyone. And Honestly, one of my favorite parts of the day is picking up an egg knowing that your baby's all cozy in their crib and looking at all their toys that they had fun playing with. I don't know what it is about it, but I just think it's so sweet and it always makes me grateful for 
just the opportunity to even have a mess like this to clean up. And especially as he gets older, he just has such an imagination with playing with toys and actually is really into them more. He's exploring in that way and again, just really grateful to have a mess to clean up. Sorry for the lighting. I bought these amber light bulbs off of Amazon because I thought that they would be nice for the evening time, but they're kind of a vibe, but they're also kind of terrifying. They're really, really yellow, but they are very peaceful at night. Thank you guys for spending the last few days with me. It was so much fun. I cannot believe it's already October. It's always so sad how quick September, October, November, and December go by, and they're just probably some of the best months of the year, at least in my opinion. January, February, March are always a little bit harder because there aren't a ton of things to look forward to. But that just means we're going to have to plan some things for then, but thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will catch you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for being here. Bye friends.